you know how like on Atlanta, like the dude had the lemon pepper wings, but it was with the sauce. Yeah. Like it was the wet one. Like, all right, what? Not the dry rub. Yeah, just the check the scene. Drip. He made you the lemon pepper joints, but these got the sauce on them. The sauce. Yeah. Lemon pepper wet? Wet <laughs> lemon pepper. Look at his face lit up. Exactly. Editing. Why did you put a light in there? In the sauce? Yes, you don't know how to do that. That Jesus sauce. So first topic is Facebook definitely wants your nudes. Wow, they like a bad uh, ex. <laughs> well, that's what they're kind of trying to prevent. So Facebook wants to preemptively prevent revenge porn on its platform by gathering nude images and videos of its user, raising privacy concerns among its 2 billion users. Around 54,000 cases of revenge porn, the sharing of sexual explicit images and videos without a person's consent, are reported to Facebook each month, according to documents leaked earlier this year. That's via Newsweek. And who, Basically, who, I, who want revenge on porn? What did porn do to people? No, no, uh, not uh, not uh, a revenge on porn. Oh, okay. Oof. Like you use naked pictures of like an ex or something like that as revenge on social media. But I'm like, <laughs> who's gonna be screening this? Like, who gets to yeah. like look at all the nude images? <laughs> Whose because terrible like, job is? Is OG, oh, OG Mark? What you doing? Like, it's gotta. Be, would you would you screen the nude images? No, you I'm wouldn't. not gonna sit there and be like, bloop, bloop. like it's a waste of my time. When they can just set a little, like if they see titties, block it from the internet. No, but like you can't do that like on Twitter because Twitter let titties be on there. That's Twitter though. Facebook is like Christian friend. It's like, you know, it's, it's safe. Facebook is not like Christian singles meet. <laughs> like it's not a Christian site. You don't go on It's supposed Facebook. to be like your family in there, your baby mama's there, your little cousin's there. And that's why they're trying to re prevent the revenge porn. Your baby mama in there. No, delete. It's the pickle pick that you sent to her a while ago. <laughs> And she might post it up because you mad because you ain't pay child support. So I'm telling you, I think it's a good idea. It's terrible Facebook, idea. I want to be one of the people screening these photos and making sure that we are keeping these photos off the internet. You know, it's I want these like photos you. off of the internet. And I am willing to look through every last one of them to keep them off. It's people like you that destroy Facebook. What do you mean destroy it? Destroy it, face like we came to this point in Facebook. To what? This. I'm not posting new photos. I'm not <laughs> posting pickle pics. I'm not posting tit pics. I'm not like putting anybody on blast, throwing anybody right. on the table. Right. I just want to help this cause by being one of those people that no. screens the photos. No. To help the cause, we got to report these bad pages. But why report them if they can have an algorithm that prevents it from even going up? And I can be part of saving the culture. I'm all about the culture. That's like saying, oh, we're going to enslave everybody to stop slavery, America. I think that that's not, no, that's too, dude, no, that's messed up. That's not how it works. Yeah, you, that's not how you it want works. people to send every naked picture in the world and then we're like, oh, all these naked pictures, stop all naked pictures. Yes, that stop is, them all. That but, is I, but I get to see all the naked pictures first, so I can keep them off the internet. And what you gonna but do? It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a team of us. Like I'm pretty sure it's gonna be me, oh, gonna be your Julio, Julio. Uh, Ahmed. We all gonna be a part of the team. All the, Will he be all the screen screen the pictures, keep them off the internet. That's what I'm saying. Screen the pictures, keep them off the net. You were familiar with Black Youngster? The rapper. The rapper. Yeah. Memphis. So basically. The stutter man. He took over McDonald's. Or Why? I guess attempted to, or I don't know. Did they let him? How far did he get? I think the McDonald's was closed, but let's check out this video right here. Motherfucker Al, mixtape, whatever you doing, sing the cover. Go it fuck like my dog. He robbing the place. I don't think. McDonald's was closed, so I can't. Ain't that right, bro? He got on yeah, like the McDonald's. I this bitch up special for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Say, hey, say, hey. What's up, bro? He just walking yeah, back in the middle. This is illegal. I think they let they obviously let him do it. Yeah, I'm at McDonald's, bro. Pick, we cook a sandwich, pick my own sandwich, bitch. Fuck you talking about? My boy just opened the bitch up. They letting these yeah, celebrities hey, do hey, more hey, stuff. The Carolinas love me. Need to? Why should you be in a McDonald's trying to cook your own burger anyway? Why would you want to? Why would you want to be in McDonald's? He got thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. <laughs> but he puts on the floor in 7-Elevens. But he want to go to McDonald's and make his own burger. <laughs> Cause who get to do that? Other than black people, people are gonna go to church and preach their own sermon. Yes, they do. They can't throw. Oh. 
get what you want, no matter what time it is. It won't my, boy, my boy opened his own special. He don't even know his name. <laughs> God. <laughs> and they happy. They're like, oh, I'll be pissed. He's putting like, his hand in the drinks. I wonder, did he get a water cup and fill it up with soda? Put your hand in the drink challenge. Do you think he really gonna do a put your hand in the drink challenge? Put your hand in the drink challenge. People, man, yeah, they did the Wendy Williams challenge. What is he doing? Is that the crank that? This like make McDonald's after the club. Hey. She just so happy that he in there. Why he making music to all the machines <laughs> beat? All right, so that's Julio. <laughs> <really good. laughs> I know, cause you know Julio from the Bruno Mars song? Like, Julio, I thought you were talking about from Power. Oh no. Cause like another video, right? It was a dude. Why does he look like he doing a McDonald's documentary? Uh, 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 undercover boss. <laughs> he looked like undercover rapper. That's what he looked like. No, but, I think. But they got a video right where a dude uh, was pretending to be Clay Thompson from the um, Warriors, uh -huh. and they like let, they let him into the arena. Like he drove in the employee entrance or the mm -hmm. athlete entrance. He got in all the way. And people taking pictures with him. And I'm like, people are stupid because what if he was like a mass murderer? Y'all just let him in past like checkpoints. And, I don't know. No, they let him in because he looked like John B. And they like, they don't oh. know <laughs> about the Warriors. Don't listen to. Anyway. Classic. So I don't know. Do you, if you get some money, is one of the first things you do is go to a McDonald's and try to take it over? No, I'm going to Best Buy and trying to take that. So <laughs> I need all the technology. It has been for the longest. Does pineapple go on pizza or not? It does. It does? Definitely. With ham and all that stuff? No ham. Just but that's how you get the Hawaiian. I the ham know. and pineapple. Do they have pigs on Hawaii? I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So Important basically, pig. if you thought pineapple pizza was a bad idea, according to Mashable, uh, they regrettably introduced the strawberry pizza pie, and yes, pizza it is pie. as gross as it sounds. So this article that was on Mashable, um, they put it up and they basically threw up a picture. That looks terrible. At Moon Emoji's tweet where they are slamming on a strawberry pizza. Now I is don't know. Is pizza? Yeah, that's definitely pizza. And while some, and according to Mashable, they say while some people were smart enough to object the idea that strawberry should be eaten on top of a pizza slice. Others know why they're surprisingly down with the idea. So why stop there though? Did somebody tweeted? They said put apples and grapes on there. <laughs> Hell, who even grapefruit? They pair the fruits with cheese all the time. I don't know. Does does the strawberry supposed to be on pizza? No, that's like with whipped cream. Like that's the dairy you should go with with strawberries. Not, not cheese. Not pizza. I so I mean, what, all right. So what do you? So like, what should we do then? Like. Should we have like pineapple? Grab it for me. All right, so pineapples and strawberries don't go on pizza. What else don't go on pizza? Well, you said pineapples do pineapples go on pizza. Pineapples do. Sardines is cool on pizza. Um, sausage, gyro meat. Uh, gyro meat is yo yo. Gyro meat is the best on pizza. Onions. Bro. Um, yeah, of course those. That's right, like in the sauce. It perfectly like white onions. Uh, um, what else goes on pizza? All right, so what does not go on pizza then? I think grapes, strawberries. Uh, all time, uh, apples definitely don't go on pizza. Yeah, no. That's, so I think that's not even pizza no more. That's just I don't know. So basically, we we want y'all to tell us where, what y'all think goes on pizza, what doesn't go on pizza. I think strawberries don't go on pizza. Yeah. So so are you all in agreement? Do y'all think so? I, I think so. So I think strawberries should not be on pizza. Let's put it into this. Let's not have people all on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram posting pictures about whether they like. You know, people don't even eat strawberries unless they're trying to get sexy. Yeah, like, and you can't have sexy pizza. Pizza's not meant to be sexy. Pizza's nah, meant to be. You throwing down. Like, pizza's meant to be like, you know, just hearty. You know, you're having fun with the guys, going out to the bar, get some wings, pizza, tacos, pizza. and burgers. Yeah, all day. Put, make yourself. a pizza sandwich, put a little cushion in the middle, and just. All right, we're gonna hit this <laughs> next topic. Question of the day that we asked y'all last episode, um, what are great ways in general to spoil your partner? Now, I remember you said you uh, 
You could like, you know, just do small things for them and all that. I Definitely. said spend time with them and include them in your life. And we had some people uh, say some uh, different different ideas of what you can do I got to spoil this. your partner. One person said, spoil. Hmm. Random gifts, special occasion, just because type of things, or come home to a clean house and dinner already made. Woo. That's, that's, woo. That's, woo. that's a gift from heaven. Hallelujah, that's so sexy. <laughs> that's so, so sexy. We had somebody else put asking questions, listening attentively, putting effort into becoming a part of their world. That's, that's, that's what I was talking about. Uh, you know, meeting their friends, you know, their career, their family, yeah. being on time, Ooh. lovingly and non-judgmentally allowing time and space when they need it, making space for them to be silly and vulnerable or angry or over-emotional. Okay, I dig that. Keeping your word, noticing and acknowledging minutia in their lives, and they whispering with booty rubs. I, well, I think I think that's for like men and women. I don't think women should be like whispering sweet nothings in the men's ear as they giving men booty rubs. I don't know how uh, I feel about uh, booty rubs to myself, but I'm willing to give booty rubs. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. You gotta get the eggplant rubs. That's yeah, you know I would. Yes, yes, eggplant rubs. That's what we need. That's what we need. <laughs> yes. Another person put, hmm, I say just because moments like random dates, gift, and small messages, I'm pretty sure small massages too. We were just talking about booty rubs. Right. And also show love and consistency. So I don't know. I don't know. I think these are good answers. Yeah. Uh, I think people people just want small stuff. Right. I, it seems like, a, I feel like people think some grandiose gesture is definitely how you show your partner that you love them and, you know, be affectionate. But it seems like small things like, you know, strawberries, not on pizza. Yeah. But in, you know, booty rubs is how you get the job done. Just don't start with booty rubs, man. Don't, yeah, don't start. The fun don't, is over there. Don't be like, baby, I, I know you just came home. <laughs> Go upstairs, you about to get this booty rub. Oh, you a creep, like, right, give me your booty. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> you got a treat to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless you like R. Kelly, I guess, uh, like, you can't start with booty rubs. Like, if you R. Kelly, then you like, you can head upstairs. I'm going to put that booty down. Just rub it, girl. Or have a t-shirt like I'm going to rub your booty. Yeah. Yo, boo, hoo tea. Thank you. Yo, boo, hoo tea. Boo, 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 boo tea. If you heard that in the club, what would you do? I would try to find the biggest booty in the club. <laughs> I'm telling you, I try okay. to find the biggest booty in the club. Cause okay. that's his, that's that's what that he trying to lay it in, you know what I'm saying? He trying to put it down. He put, you know, put down feel something. it on the booty. Booty rubs okay. all day. He gave more than booty rubs. Yeah, he, he gave showers as well. <laughs> so anyway, this is Will Talk. If you like what you watching, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. turn on those push notifications, follow us at the Q brand and follow us respectively at Willie B Music. And it'll like Will. We see y'all next time. Peace. I he found out like he you can actually it. make lemon pepper wet. How? Like, is it like a video on YouTube? Is that with oil? No, I mean something. But like <laughs> the dude was like, he was like zesting the lemon. Okay. And then he he cracked the pepper mm -hmm. and then he added wetness, bro. I'm light. about to make some lemon pepper Look, wet wings, bro. Liquid smoke. That's the it's secret exactly. ingredient. Exactly. So imagine like a garlic parm lemon pepper wet. Because like when you get the lemon pepper, it'd be the dry or right. like the rough. It'd be messy. Lemon pepper wet, bro. Okay. Got, I'm telling you, I'm about to do it. It's, it's the, the greatness. It's the future. Yeah. Okay. Future chicken. Anyway.